Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puff Go Budsy Bottle and Dab X Enail with Diamonds Dab of the Day. Hello, everybody. Today is Monday. Welcome. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Let's get started with today's topic. How many times have you been stung by somebody's defensive behavior? And you probably don't even know why the people get defensive. Well, we got to figure that out. We got to figure why they get defensive and how to handle defensive people. Because there's nothing worse than talking to someone who's constantly defensive. Feels like you make no progress at all. And whatever you say is wrong, they're always right. And you feel like you're playing a bad game of chess and you're in checkmate. You got to move on from that, though. So when you're dealing with somebody defensive, it's not an easy task. Okay? You got to understand why they're being defensive. Traditionally, defensive behavior exists or occurs when a person perceives something as a threat. As a result, they become defensive. But there are plenty of other reasons why we get defensive. So let's discuss them. Well, if the person perceives you're a threat to them, when people feel threatened, they become defensive. We're no different than all the other animals out there walking around. When there's a threat, the automatic response is to defend yourself. If someone is acting defensive towards you, try to figure out what's triggering them. Well, when somebody's overcritical, they relish in defensive behavior. They're constantly looking at the negative aspects of the situation which causes defensiveness. If you make suggestions, provide constructive criticism, it doesn't matter. Defensive people easily become sensitive and, well, defensive. People are defensive because they think they're guarding themselves. Why would someone guard themselves against you would be the question. Well, they're trying to keep specific information away from you. That's why. They're scared of you or somebody else finding something out about them, so they're always on guard. You'll notice this when you ask people like this a question, and they quickly switch the topic from answering the question to something else. Defensive people are dogmatic, and dogmatism is when someone expresses an opinion as if it's fact. In most cases, it's not fact, but they want you to take it as one. They'll act defensively, defending their answer. If you question their statement or disagree with it because they always want to be right. Defensive comes from people who feel that they're inferior to you. Rather than listening to you, they become defensive because they feel inferior to you. Now, they may not act defensively right away, but as time passes, these people's defensiveness comes in the form of gossip. They would rather point out your flaws and mistakes. And that way, you look smaller and less of a threat to them. No kidding. Everybody who's gossiped or made fun of you was jealous of you. What do you think of that? That's right. Sometimes, people who are defensive want to manipulate. When someone wants to manipulate you or a situation, they're going to act defensively. You're going to ask yourself, why? Well, it's because they don't want to be called out for their actions. When they feel you know what's going on, they'll act distrustful and guarded. But in reality, you're the one who should be acting like that. Defensive people often are impulsive. There are many moments where we act impulsively. And sure, we may think about the situation for a split second. But then we make a fast decision which may hold consequences for us. We know we made a mistake. But admitting it is an entirely different issue. If someone doesn't want to admit their mistakes, they're going to act defensively and try to rationalize their behavior, even if it's wrong. So how do you deal with these people? How do you deal with defensive behavior? You want to try to change their perspective, if possible. You want to change yours right away. Switch your perspective and you'll see results. You want these folks to work on self-awareness. No one wants to look at themselves when trying to handle someone who's behaving defensively. So it's not our fault, your fault, but we must become self-aware and look at the moments when we're 
defensive. And look at what triggered the reaction. Remember to apologize when you don't express yourself properly. Acknowledge your behavior and actions, and it'll make a huge difference dealing with a defensive person. If you said something overly critical or aggressive, even in their perspective, forget reality, acknowledge it with an apology, and then re-explain it the way they need to hear it said. Breathing helps. Giving the person space who you're concerned about being defensive is very important. Don't get in their face, so to speak. And never say to the person, don't be so defensive. It's the equivalent of saying calm down to someone who clearly is not calm and can't be calm. The only thing it's going to do is cause an explosion. Tell the person who's being defensive you're sorry for the misunderstanding. Clarify it or ask for clarification. And by golly, remember to speak up. If you ignore or avoid someone's defensiveness, it's going to backfire quickly. Eventually, you'll explode out of frustration. So when a situation does occur, instead of avoiding it, make sure you voice your thoughts and feelings. And you know what? Most likely, you'll be at your calmest when you're doing that. Defensive people and how we deal with them. My golly, don't we see people like that all the time in our life? You're almost looking at them saying, what I say, what I say, they mean to say anything. Yet that person really perceived you said something bad. It happens. Let's take our dab of the day, everybody. Thanks for joining me, as always. Cheers. The Bugsy Bar. <coughs> Best... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Best $99 bong I ever bought. And the Dabex speaks for itself. Have a great day, everybody. And remember, there are defensive people all over the place. And when you're defensive, get a hold of it and do the best you can. Cheers, everybody.